Welcome to day 17. Grateful to have you tune in again this morning as we continue to pray and fast and pursue the Lord together. Yesterday, I hope you enjoyed listening to our founding pastor teach on how we can be praying for Israel. And know that if there are any daily devotionals you've missed throughout these 21 days, they are all archived so you can watch them at your convenience. And so as we continue to talk about expanding our prayer life, today I wanna to touch on the topic of just praying for other believers. This is something that the Apostle Paul did over and over again. If you go through and read the New Testament letters of Paul, you will find that he made it a habit to pray for other believers. The passage I wanna show you today is a bit longer than others we have looked at, but it has a lot in it to help us expand our prayer life. So Paul says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, how can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of God because of you? Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you again and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself, our Lord Jesus, clear the way for us to come to you. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your heart so that you'll be blameless and holy in the presence of God and our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. So let's examine a few highlights in Paul's prayer that can help us to form our prayers, especially for other believers. Here's one piece I see of the prayer is he expresses gratitude for others. Paul said, how can we thank God enough for you? So Paul made it a habit of thanking God for other believers in this church. So the question is, what other believers in your life do you need to thank God for? And as you pray for them, think about sharing with them personally what you have thanked God for about them. This is what Paul did. He not only thanks God for them, but then he shares with them how he has been thanking God for them. So it might sound like this, you know, Chris, I've spent time thanking God for the influence you have had on the next generation at our church. Thank you for the deposit you're making. So Paul not only thanked God for other believers, but he shared that with them, thus encouraging them. So express gratitude for others. Then Paul also prayed for the increase of Christ-like love. Paul said, I pray that there'd be an increase and overflow in your love for each other and everyone else. I wonder what the church would be like today if we prayed this way regularly for each other. I think there'd be a lot more lifting each other up instead of putting each other down. You know, D.A. Carson, a theologian, commented on this verse and said, if the overflow of love happened, the only time we would think to put anyone down would be to put them down on our prayer list. So we express gratitude for others, we pray for the increase of Christ-like love, and then we can also pray for hearts to be strengthened. This is the last piece Paul touches on when he says, may God strengthen your heart so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of God. And I think one of the things Christians so need today is strength to stand for the Lord especially this younger generation. The culture we are living in is going the opposite direction and many young people today are getting swept away in the current. So we must pray that the Lord would strengthen the hearts of believers and strengthen their allegiance to Him. So I want you to begin to pray for others the Lord has placed on your heart today. Thank God for them. Pray that they would overflow with love and that their heart would be strengthened. They would have strength to stand. And as you do that, I think you'll find the byproduct is, is that God will stir up in your heart passion for people. Prayer can lead to more passion for people. So keep expanding your prayer life outward toward others. I'm proud of you and I'm praying for you today. I look forward to seeing you back tomorrow.